This Tracker Mini feature is long overdue. Freebeat. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat. Today's patron shoutout goes to Don Tomato. Thank you so very much for the support. Let's get started. This video is not sponsored by Polyend, and I was not sent this firmware early. Uh, it's still in beta, but anyone can download it, so I guess technically we were all sent it early. <laughs> anyway, the... Tracker Mini has a new beta firmware out now, and it introduces note input mode, as well as a scale option in your project settings. This is a big step forward for the Mini, as we now have a way to play parts in. Before upgrading, it's probably best to back up your SD card, just a heads up. And to upgrade, all you need to do is head to the link in the description where I have uh, listed the firmware. Go ahead and give that a download, then either pop out your SD card or open the mini in USB storage mode on your computer. Drop the firmware file into the firmware folder, then back on the mini. We're going to head to the config menu. We're going to scroll down to firmware. We're going to go to firmware update and then simply select the beta firmware and let it install. It took about a minute or so on my device. Once you are in the beta firmware, we're gonna head back into the config menu. You can get there by holding down menu and just navigating to it right there. From there, we're actually gonna go to project settings, which is the first option in the config menu, and we will find the notes scale feature right here, which actually lets you pick a scale for your project. This is going to dictate what notes you have available to play. So for the sake of simplicity, we're going to pick a minor scale, and for our root note, we're going to pick A2, so A minor. Let's head back to Pattern View. Mine is set to Shortcut button number one. Now, the Note Entry feature works with both samples and with the onboard synths. By the way, if you haven't taken that mini update yet, what are you waiting for? Grab those onboard synths, they are awesome. Uh, let's select one of those, so I'm going to hold Instrument, and let's just pick Synth number one here, which is just a WTFM patch. Now to access note entry mode, it's really easy. Just hold shift and press the note button. Now you'll notice that the eight buttons directly under the screen are labeled with notes. And you guessed it, you can play the notes with the buttons. You can also change which notes are available for you to play by holding the note button and then using the D-pad. Now, there is a bug right now that selects a few wrong notes when your selection spans multiple rows. It goes down instead of up. But I'm sure that will be fixed soon, as this is just a beta. Like I mentioned earlier, these notes are quantized based on the scale that we chose earlier in the video. So if you'd like, you can go back and change that, and you can also change it to chromatic if you want to have access to all of the notes. But now we can use these buttons to enter notes either into the sequencer in rec mode, or we can live play them in using live record. If you are going to use live record, don't forget to go into the config menu, go down to metronome, make sure you've got the metronome on, and give yourself pre-roll, uh, which is just basically a count-in. You can also set your time signature there as well. Let's make sure that note mode is once again active. Okay, there we go. Now let's live play something by holding rec and pressing play. There we go. As you can see, Live playing note entry is not perfect yet on the Tracker Mini. We still have uh, the issue where it borrows from the next track depending on the timing because it also wants to put the off commands in there in addition to the on commands. Um, I know people have been asking for this to be fixed for a while. Hopefully uh, this proper firmware release will take care of that, uh, but I'm not sure if it will or not. Either way, this is a huge step in the right direction. Let's go to the top of track three here. Let's pick a different synth, and I will show you how to plug these in manually. I'm gonna hold note so we can go a little lower. There we go, we'll go down here. And we're gonna hit record to enter record mode, and now, as you can see, I can just enter notes, depending on the step I'm on. And step jump still works here. So uh, I've got that set to one as you can see, but we could turn that, you know, to two, go back to note mode. Now we're going to jump two steps. Two 
just like that. Super cool, super handy. Let's move on to another track here and talk about the perk engine, uh, because now we actually have a way to finger drum on the Tracker Mini. These buttons are not ideal for it, but we can do it, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and dial in Synth Engine 3 here, which is currently not set to perk, but we can change that. There we go. I'll just use the initialized kit. So if we turn on note mode, the first thing we'll notice is that depending on where we are here, it does want to just pitch the same sounds. Ah, but depending on the notes that we select, once we get up to, I believe it's, yeah, C5, we can start finger drumming. Pretty cool. <laughs> not ideal, but certainly better than not having the option at all, which is kind of the point of this firmware update, I think. It really just kind of gives the, the Tracker Mini this little extra oomph where if you do feel the need to play something in live, uh, you now have that option. Still kind of learning how this works here. There we go. So that's, that's the setup you want if you want to play your sounds in live. Uh, you want C5 up to C6. It does feel weird to be finger drumming on this thing. <laughs> That's going to take some practice. Uh, let's try to live play it and see how it works. You know, that's honestly not terrible. I definitely uh, was a bit off in my timing in the beginning. I don't hate that though. Yeah. Sweet. I call that a win. Two thumbs up for me on this one. If they can work out those kinks, I think this is going to be a great little update to the Tracker Mini for sure. And it's going to quench a lot of people's thirst out there for the ability to enter notes manually. Uh, if you know anything about me, you know I'm a firm believer of actually playing instruments whenever possible. So the fact that Polyand was able to bring a, you know, a decently intuitive way to do that in such a small portable device. I don't even need to be charging this right now. Like <laughs> this is just going to my audio interface. Uh, you know, I, I think that's pretty cool. So if you're interested, give it a shot. Don't forget to back up your SD card first. This is a beta. This is a beta. Back up your SD card. Don't be a dummy. Yeah, I like it. Cool. I do hope you found this video informative or at least entertaining. If you did, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you all so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.